So, so is that he could choose not one of them? <laughs> Even though I three three two stocked him. I I feel but like you know that's what? a losing matchup. That's for Robin. okay. But this isn't Pikachu, this is Cloud, which is going to be a little bit more combative. So we're going to see Robin versus Cloud because Cloud wants to play passive and Robin kind of wants to play passive and they both want to jump. Uh, although the ground normal for Cloud in Limit Cross Slash is a bit better. Yeah. Not Limit Cross, it's just Cross Slash. Uh, the, the thing is about Robin is that they kind of struggled with the with the actual combating on the ground game, uh, and especially moving Ugh. forward to you. But once you can get in the air as Robin, oh boy, you can do whatever you want. Those aerials are amazing. Well. Sometimes, until you lose your magic sword, and then they become mediocre again, and so then you run forward. Oh yeah, but that's the, Robin without the Levin Sword and Robin with the with the Levin Sword are two completely different well, characters. Robin without Levin Sword is the worst character in the game, maybe, and then Robin with the Levin Sword is like seventh worst. So <laughs> you know, it's a big difference. Six character spots? That's a lot. A lot of kill confirms, though. You get a lot of kill confirms with oh, those aerials. You get to control everything. Only the air. Everything in the air. Yeah. Every everything the light does not touch, basically. But right now, man, Zillion, he's got he's got a big lead. Just got to find you know the one aerial near the ledge. But Cheeks is really good at playing defensively, putting up a really good wall that's tough to penetrate. And if Zillion's not getting right up into his face, that will be a problem for him, ironically. Uh, but also, he's totally fine just chucking these projectiles because Cloud doesn't have them. And you know, if Cloud wants to use Blade Beam, oh, that was actually sick. Mm -hmm. If Cloud wants to use Blade Beam, uh, it actually gets stuffed by the arc fire and like it's just it's on commit. the floor yeah. and it's a bigger commitment granted robin is you know incredibly slow so you're not really gonna get punished for it unless you do it in a really ill time uh like or like a bad position but mm. i don't know i feel like like right now um no thunder books so you're gonna have a lot less of that ground control so a lot of this can just be played like i feel like people don't play around what robin has enough and that's a big reason why robin sees success but that jab one two three super strong it's gonna work yeah, real deep. I'm surprised that it took us almost two minutes to find the first stock because both of these guys are really good at exploding stocks, especially Zillion, whereas, you know, Cheeks build up the damage over time and then he'll find a way to finish it out super cleanly because he's got such a big, strong hitbox available to him. Sometimes. Only back air and limit moves for the most part. Cloud actually, to me, kind of struggles to kill. Uh, you're like 172, that barely killed from center. Granted, Stadium's a pretty big stage, mm. but I feel like Cloud with I mean, maybe it's just because of what he was in Smash 4 that I'm jaded and there's like, yeah, this isn't early. Uh, <laughs> but a character that's still just exploitable off stage, I feel, ooh, interesting. Interesting, yeah. Died, yeah. It didn't proc it because it was in the air. That's, a, that's actually a really interesting way to get rid of it, although I wouldn't, I, I would say be wary of doing that in the future because yeah. now Zillion knows it's an option. And also you can just get punished for it because up B, even though that move is amazing for Cloud, Climb Hazard, such a good move, but definitely is punishable if it whips. But finally has an advantage take, gonna get that cross slash to send Zillion off stage. The, that's the part where I feel like Cheeks is falling short right now, is when he gets Zillion into that disadvantage. He's not making the big capitalizations on it the way that he really needs to to close out the stocks. Yeah, and also, I mean, I feel like he's just going for, like, very... He's not really changing up his options. Like, he gets stuffed for certain things, and then he gets stuffed for certain things, and then he keeps doing those exact things. He's done a lot of down tilts. None of them have hit their mark. They are... I don't, if, I don't know if he's trying to get under thunders that just aren't coming, uh, but it's been kind of rough and finally has a pretty solid advantage state, but doesn't capitalize on it and again decides to dash backwards when he has no sword. Why are you not attacking the man with no kill moves? Exactly. You got to be right in his face when he doesn't have it available because aside from that one jab, one, two, three, the gentleman, the boxing tool and, that he has. And I guess Thunder 2. Like he doesn't kill. Yeah. It's, it's just really tough for Robin to find the stocks otherwise. So you see Cheeks, maybe he gets aggressive for this edge guard, but missed timing on that Nair. It's going to give Zillion the chance to get back, and he's been doing a great job of just, uh, like you said, you know, living against this character that lacks Ooh. some of those kill options. But finally gets the dash attack. Going to be able to close out the stock. Cheeks with the first lead of the game. Obviously, when you come back, Robin is full stocked on all tomes and the sword, so it's going to be a little bit more difficult to... Oh, that doesn't kill at 130? Because it does 30 for some reason? <laughs> it does a lot of damage. That should... Wow. Nice SDI. That was actually beautiful. Yeah, no, that's something that I have not seen a lot of people do against Zillion, and that's what's surprising me. And I guess uh, a bit of an explanation for why Zillion is struggling to find these stocks, where normally he's so consistent at finding them at 110, 120. Because I think that was the second time that he SDI'd out of that at mm -hmm. around like 100 plus. So that's going to be a big deal. 33% right now on Zillion. No sword available to him as far as I'm aware. Okay, just got it back. Mm -hmm. So uh, not going to be a pretty good advantage state. But again, Cloud's mobility both in the air and on the ground can really diffuse the situations that Robin wants to capitalize on. 
And he's doing that sometimes, but then just doing it at the wrong time, which is why I feel like this game is close. Mm -hmm. I think it's really important as Cloud to understand Ow. when you need to run away and when it is okay to counterattack your opponent while you're running away. Yeah, and, and that's also a big thing against Robin. And also, blowing these limits, I'm pretty sure he's only done one move that wasn't uh, Blade Beam. And Blade Beam has been pretty ineffective the whole game, or it was an aerial Blade, aerial blade Beam a single time, mm -hmm. and that uh, obviously is going to be weaker than the ground variant. This is a good ledge trap from Cheeks, though we haven't seen a whole lot of great ones from him so far. That was like one frame off. <laughs> Ooh, that Blade Beam's a commit! Gave Zillion the chance to get back on stage, and this is last hit for both of these guys. Yep, just don't get shield pulled by the arc fire. Slowly take your stage because Robin has to play defensive. That is exactly what you got to do versus Robin. Cheeks doing that, and at this point, you just got to, you know, make sure you don't get caught out by a random fair, random back air, because those moves are, yeah, and you see Zillion just throwing it out. Mm -hmm. Those moves are incredibly powerful. No big commits at these percents, man. You have your kill moves, you know what they are, and you need to wait for the option to do it. And that one Arc Thunder was enough of a commit for Cheeks to go, my turn. Yeah, because like the Arc Thunders, it takes so long for them to charge. Like it takes so long for Robin to charge it, right? That uh, it's a big commit. It's not like it's a Samus charge shot. It's not like it's one of those type of things, like an Aura Sphere, where it's constantly getting stronger and stronger and stronger. It has clearly the four levels, and it doesn't matter how long you charge each of those levels. If you cancel it before the next level, it goes back to the beginning of that level when you're trying to charge it again. Mm -hmm. So you really know it's like okay, one, two, three, like Thoron, right? And the only the main threatening one at this point, or for the most part, is uh. The second one, I think it's the L Thunder. Uh, yeah, L Thunder. Yeah, I always forget which one's L and Arc. That's, I mean, reasonable, man. If you haven't played Fire Emblem, it's, it's all made up. I just say two. <laughs> I just say Thunder two. Then I'm thinking about Ness, and I don't want to do that. You're from Texas, you might as well. <laughs> I also don't want to think about Ness. But, no, I'm, you know. a, I'm aware. We uh, Ness is Ness is a funny character, but he's not on the screen right now. We just have two different funny characters for separate reasons. And again, another Blade Beam just kind of defuse the situation, I guess, make sure that he doesn't chase him. But at the same time, Robin's not really going to chase you. He's more going to edge trap you with arc fires and wait till you're on ledge to do so. That's the, that's the fun thing about fighting Robin is you, you run away, but that doesn't necessarily make you any safer than you were before. It's as still, Robin or against Robin? Against Robin. Yeah. I, I think as Robin, that, that does kind of play to the same standard as well. But especially against Robin, you're running away. You're giving him time to charge those projectiles and get that arc fire back, too. Yeah, but at the same time, I mean, depending on what the tomes are like, oh, it's going to be... Oh, another... That was SDI, SDI out, and then air dodge in. That was super interesting. Mm -hmm. No, Cheeks' defense just all around is so strong. I haven't seen... I mean, I haven't seen Zillion be able to connect the confirms to find his kills consistently, like, a single time. Yeah, like, technically, after the air dodge, he was in advantage, so was able to get a hit off of that, but it wasn't guaranteed like it is versus basically everyone else. I love that Legend of Nosferatu. That cross slash, not going to quite kill, but again, like, 22%. That's going to be pretty good. Zillion, this bunch of kind of just camp around the ledge to try to wait out that limit, because if he uses it to kill you, honestly, it's still probably even. Now you got all your tomes back, which is also something that uh, Cheeks didn't really do, neither game one nor two, is, like, the beginning of the game, you can just run at Robin, because they don't have sword. Yes. Which is terrible. Like, if Robin literally got that buffed, like, I think Robin would be, like, five to six spots better because there are hella characters, especially the top tiers, that can just run at you and kill you before you can get the chance to have the sword. Yeah, I'm playing at disadvantage, uh, or in a disadvantaged uh, area as Robin, especially when you have to approach them. Uh, even if you've got the projectiles, you're only going to get nickels and dimes here and there. And eventually, you got to go, okay, get the 11 swords, but this Pichu keeps running away from you. Yeah, and that's going to be double arc fire. It Finally up. gets it into the up smash. I love the new animation of that up smash. It's so cool it how he throws the sword. Nice. Double jumping over that Arc Thunder. Not going to land its mark, neither with that Arc Fire. Not going to shield poke either. Zillion playing a defensive game. But again, at this point, like, the problem is he's playing such a good defensive game, but then if he keeps doing exactly what he's doing, eventually he runs out of all his resources, and then Cheeks can find the, like, slowly find his way in. Nice parry Ooh, on that yeah. back air. I don't see, uh, don't see a lot of the parries against Robin again because those aerials as strong uh, and as big as they are. Also very quick. It's tough to lock him down. But Zillion, I guess, has been using a lot of those aerials at the same height, same distance. Cheeks is able to scout it out. Very nice use of that Arc Thunder 2 to cover himself. There hasn't been a whole lot of the Thunder to get my back. And going to go for another downer. Nope. Realized that he went too early. Goes for a ledge drop dash attack instead to meaty the uh, ledge jump of Zillion. And all oh, read that roll, but went a little too far. So unfortunately, went ran through because you can run through people if they are invincible. That is the rule. Except for, I think, uh, on respawn. That is, I so guess, invincible, intangible looks slightly different. 
Yeah. Oh, he's dead. Oh, he made it back. That was crazy. Teeks' recoveries are really good. He's so good at waiting for you to commit to something and then already having those preset game plans of how he's going to get back oh, once you do that. And nice parry by uh, Zillion to kind of retort from before. Gets an uh, Nosferatu healing about 25% if I saw that right. A lot. Again, that SDI out. But Amazing. now Zillion's ready for it, so he's getting punishes with grabs, and you know, we saw that one forward air, and a Thoron at this point will kill Owen! So will an arc fire back here. He didn't even respect the SDI that time. He was like, I either he reacted to getting a really, really juicy hit on the arc fire, or he went, you just won't do it this time and I'll hit you anyways. I also think it was uh, it was kind of in the middle of it, so we didn't have as much time to SDI. It didn't have as many hits, you know what I'm saying? Because mm. he hit him with like, the first hit he got hit with was like hit three of the, you know, arc fire, so it's a little different. And therefore, Zillion would be in less ending lag from the arc fire. So yeah, that would make sense. And now we're probably going off Pokemon Stadium 2 to, you know, for Cheeks to uh, try to give himself, you know, a little bit more of a an amplified advantage state. Because like we were saying, that's been one of the problems for Cheeks so far is that he hasn't been able to rack on 30-40% uh, for getting that one hit in neutral. It's been mostly maxing out at around like 20-25%. He'll get two or three hits. And here on Lilat, uh, he's going to have a much better time juggling Zillion and most importantly, locking down those arc fires because now Zillion has to be so much deeper into the stage to land him at the ledge. Yeah, I was about to say that's going to be the biggest deal because that's really where Robin gets any early kill. A lot of pressure is the edge trapping because, you know, even though I think Robin's a mediocre character, uh, or like a bad character. Every character is basically good in this game, so that edge trapping of Robin is some of the best in the entire game, and uh, on Lila, you're not going to be able to, and now you finally see Cheeks be more confident, I feel like. Oh, also, I forgot about yeah. the uh, the Blade Beam traveling with the slant and that pivot cancel f -tilt. This game has been 100% Cheeks right now, even though, you know, he's a 55, but, you know, whatever. Now, the only 100% we're seeing is on Zillion right now, and like we're saying, it's because Cheeks has been able to amplify that advantage Advantage state. Nice grab there from Zillion, though. That's going to give him plenty of time to make uh, his whole setup that he needs to take that stop. Ooh, the back, the, rather, the downer actually pinging with the Arc Thunder and not going to end up hitting because of how disjointed that sword is. Kind of unfortunate for Zillion. Uh, but Cheeks getting a little bit too aggressive on that edge trap. Now going to find himself off stage. That's not a good look. Going to have to waste limit. But again, he's mostly beginning to kill his kills with back air, so I don't think it's like the worst thing ever. No sword. Without that Levin Sword, he's not going to get that Shield Break or the Poke. Which so, is basically guaranteed. Yeah, we, we, yeah, it pretty much is at that point. And well, this time, yeah, too far. Able to react. Yeah, and he was too far, so he's going to go for a down smash anyway. And going to get that dash attack on that neutral getup. So Cheeks going to take the first stock of this Game 3. Pivotal, pivotal Game 3. And I feel like that's where Cheeks has been finding most of his stocks, too, is when Zillion's at the ledge. It hasn't been a whole lot of, I think you're going to jump here or something, because Zillion's been doing a very good job of covering his aerial movement. But at the ledge, his options are so limited as Robin that Cheeks has done a great job of ledge traffic. Ooh, and actually that should have been death of Cheeks right there, but the fact you're not going to come out right before he lands, so unfortunate because of those platforms being so low. Now we got a down tilt, we get a little bit of an advantage state here. Just going to do all the shield damage. Really punish it, but Cheeks got greedy, so he's going to get punished. That was actually a really, really good recognition to run off back there. Mm -hmm. I mean, like you're saying, it can't get a true punish off of it, but Zillion had noticed that, you know, after using that limit, Cheeks wants to continue to press the advantage, especially with a Robin on the platform. Had a chance, but Zillion turned it right back around on him. Going to air dodge away from that arc fire. Uh, definitely could have hit him, but uh, I feel like was a slightly too slow on realizing exactly how the situation was. I don't know in this game if the book falls on the platform if you can grab it, because I remember in Smash 4 you couldn't. Uh, or you would like fake pick it up and then it would disappear anyway, which is weird. I don't know if they fixed that. There's some like Robin stuff I don't know. Yeah, there's there's a lot of Robin stuff, man. I think you can I think you can pick up the books. It's like Shulk stuff. So Actually Shulk stuff is less complex in this game to be honest. It's it's less Except about for, like, saying... dial storage. It's less about saying the right thing and more about not saying the wrong thing. Yeah. Ooh, <laughs> nice Nair out of shield. Gonna keep Zillion on the ropes. Again, going for that limit blade. I feel like sometimes Cloud's just gotta remember that you get stat increases. You get faster. You get fast fallier. You get, uh, like, just the air mobility is better. And I feel like Cloud just don't really view that. They just want to get that big hit. Mm -hmm. I don't yeah. even think the, arc, the uh, what do you call it, blade beam would have even killed. 
No, Cheeks mostly just uses that, I guess, in his mind to try to buy some stage control, but I think you're right. I think that in, in the situations where he's just tossing it out to toss it out, he should be using that limit to its full advantage. Nice, it covers that roll. But at the same time, Cheeks isn't dying, so we'll take that. He got away from the edge for free. Now there's barely in the Thunderbook left. Ooh, missing the beer reverse right there. That's one of the tough things about playing like a character that constantly does beer reverses and turnarounds and things like that is sometimes if you mess up, that's especially with Robin because that's your resources. Uh, that can be really tough. Yeah. Boy, we're seeing just such low commits from both the of these guys. Was that? that was weird. He went jab one, two, and then one, two, three. I think he just waited too long to do the fire book and then I, ended up getting a soft reset. I think he was actually out of fire. And oh, he went, he went for the one, two, three, and then didn't have it. Ooh. Wow. Yeah, just a, a commit on that roll. I mean, that's the reason that we're getting into the, the later minutes of this game is because both of these guys, uh, they're really taking their time and not committing to anything big. And, uh, you know, against these characters, you know, against Robin, you don't want to commit to anything like a dash attack right in front of them. They will blow you up for that. Just do it anyway. <laughs> Robin's out of shield options are kind of subpar, in my opinion. So, especially if you low profile with it, which, like, Cloud kind of does a little bit. A little bit. He's AD, like, definitely ducks under the thunders. Yeah. But Limit, though, that's a great opportunity for a ledge trap. And we'll see if he takes advantage, like you said, of those static creases rather than just the move power. But it, he's actually going to do a little bit of both with that. Yeah, he actually used Limit pretty well. Uh, you know, only at the very end, use that Limit cross action again, 29% or something like that after it was stale. That is a good amount of damage, and now Zealand's going to be a death percent. He's going to have to bring this game back. Misses the Nosferatu, I think an accidental B-reverse. And again, that down tilt not hitting its mark. Back throw, so it's always scary as Cloud to be off stage because if you guess wrong, you die. Hold it. Just hold it. It's fine. That's gonna, that's gonna be the situation for Zillion right now, though, because if he guesses wrong, makes one bad commit. Oh, that that's... could have been up. He had a shield. Ooh. Oh, the arc fire not gonna hit. Just barely gonna go past the invincibility of Cloud. So unfortunate for Zillion. Cross Ash gonna land its mark. Gonna go off stage. Finally pursuing. Nope. Just gonna start to stay safe. Misses the up. He had no invincibility, but Zillion wasn't ready to capitalize. But the down air sweet spot. That is going to be a 2-1 for Cheeks, who's going to end up playing me in Winner's Finals. By by running in and doing such a hard commit, too, with that downer, right? Because short hopping there, if he hits Zillion's shield, he has all the time in the world to hit him with any Levin Sword aerial. Yeah. Probably even an up smash at that point. Yeah, but the full hop, honestly, it, it made him... like. Also, that was literally the first time Cheeks just said, screw it. Like, it doesn't matter. Like yeah, He only did fares, <laughs> which are like pretty safe anyway. So it really wasn't that big of a deal. But that, uh, you know, Cheeks holding it out to the last minute again. I have some critiques at the play, but that's also me being top player brain, and I don't want to be a jerk on commentary. But uh, I do think we are going to swap off.